when Jibreel السلام, entered into the room with the angel of death, and of course, this is the greatest soul the angel of death has ever taken. Right? The angel of death will never take a soul like taking the soul of the Prophet السلام. The Prophet السلام, looked up and his eyes became fixated on the ceiling. And then he raised his finger to the sky and he said, Allahumma rafiq al a'la. Allahumma rafiq al a'la. Allahumma rafiq al a'la. Oh Allah, the highest companion. Oh Allah, the highest companion. Oh Allah, the highest companion. And Aisha radiallahu anha said, those were the last words he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And his soul left his body and his hand fell, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the greatest tragedy that ever struck the earth. And it happened in her lap. Think about that for a moment. SubhanAllah, there is no tragedy in the history of this world that matches the death of the Prophet And it happened in her lap. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu came bolting to the house. He passed through the masjid and SubhanAllah, he didn't speak to anybody. Now when Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu enters into the masjid, he sees people screaming, he sees people shouting. Uh, he looks to the walls and he sees Ali and Uthman completely wiped out. They couldn't speak, they couldn't move. The, com the greatest companions of the Prophet ﷺ are absolutely paralyzed in this moment. And he refused to talk to anyone until he got to the house of the Prophet ﷺ. So Aisha radiallahu anha says he entered into the house. He removed that cloak from the body of the Prophet ﷺ. Abu Bakr threw himself on the body of the Prophet ﷺ and kissed him and cried. He said, by Allah, Allah will never cause you to die twice. The death that was decreed for you, you've died. Ya Rasulullah, you're in good hands now. This is not the death of any human being. This is the death of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 